Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of the uh, mod server Let's Play. Got a nice little uh, frame rate lag right there. So, a lot of stuff has happened. I have been exploring off camera, did several thousand blocks worth of exploration, and picked up several pairs of force mitts actually. Um, if I look in here, you can see I've got three more, and then I've got this pair. And as you can see, with no challenge at all, I'm actually with some challenge, I did find a portal gun. It's the Atlas portal gun. Um, or Peabody's, not Atlas, my bad. Um, also, Turtle Quarry has been going along doing its thing. You can see some force down there, some force ore. Uh, so that has apparently been fixed because we've gotten 19 force gems. Also picked up a few diamonds, which is good because I used all of mine up on making Dale and I both a pair of longfall boots. So, um, in other news, I think today, although I know I said I was going to keep with T-Construct tools, I think it wouldn't be a terrible idea to move to some industrial craft tools just to help clean up my inventory a little bit, because I've got a lot of stuff here that I really wish I didn't have to keep on my person. I did make a few machines here. I would have covered them, but I really just didn't see the point. Um, so we've got macerator, electric furnace, compressor, and extractor. And we've got our nice little lava pump going on over here with the MFV. Uh, same old, same old. Nothing really has changed, except for the new machines. I also made a carbon fiber canoe. Uh, that's exactly what it sounds like. It's just a boat that is carbon fiber. Um, and needless to say, if you somehow missed it, I'm on the Faithful 32 pack now. Um, just a lovely little texture pack that I threw together some mod support for that was already made up. There's some that I'm still looking for, but most of it's still here, or most of it's here. So yeah, I've got some armor for Dale whenever he decides to get on, and I've got some in inventory to clean up. we got tons of obsidian, it's not even funny anymore. 24, so that's not bad. We can take a look at all the uses of force gems. We can make force ingots and mixture recipes, and we can make crated force gems and we can squeeze them into force, liquid force and force ingots can be used for also various things we can make ourselves a force sword, force mitts as you guys know uh, shovel, pickaxe, all of these lovely tools here and one of the ones I'm going to be making soon is a force rod um, what I'm waiting for honestly is I am waiting to find the uh, the, what's it called? The Force Trees. So, we'll see. I might go out and uh, look for some. But you can see that Force has several nice little uses and stuff. In other news, I have pretty wood here. I did a little bit of modification to the house. Uh, basically, I got a Maho sapling, which is what this tree is. Here is the Maho tree. Um, I got this from a villager trade. It was eight emeralds for one sapling. And I basically got one sapling and then planted it and used the forestry grafter to get everything I wanted from it. So, pretty, pretty cool. I'm actually really happy about this thing because this wood is quite nice. It's blue, which is what, um, which is probably already reflected to you guys seeing as you've seen the blue planks. Unfortunately, forestry logs are still placed like the old logs in 1.3. Um, but yeah, I definitely think it's about time I get started on a drill and a nano saber. I made a lap pack, um, so we can definitely go ahead and get started on some of the stuff. I think I've got, yep, carbon plating here. So let's go ahead and uh, get going on it, shall we? Uh, right now, unfortunately, Dale is not on with me, but Marcus is on the server itself. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. Uh, I also picked up a few more of these saplings while I was gone, but uh, let's see, what was I what was I up to? Let's see, so I need to grab three iron ingots and then another, let me think, I need one for an electronic circuit and five for that. So I need nine total refined iron ingots. So yeah, um, sort of what my plan's going to be soon is 
moving because I really don't. I made the mass raider just kind of because I wanted to have a quick way of getting carbon, the carbon plates and whatnot. And really, I don't love industrial craft, especially if we've got thermal expansion, which we do, um, because of the fact that, and it's kind of simple if you think about it, we don't, uh, or you get, sorry, I don't know where I was going with that statement, you don't really get that chance for a bonus metal, which you do with a pulverizer, and on top of that, with machinery, it's a lot easier to automate um, automate the thermal expansion machines over a industrial craft machine. I'm sorry, I just cannot think today. So I'm going to go ahead and get on my refined iron, and what I'm going to need to make is something like this. Three refined iron, three bronze, and three tin gets me mixed metal ingot. And if I put that over here in the compressor, it will compress into advanced alloy. I'll be doing this again later because I'm hopefully going to be making a new helmet and ideally um, maybe a few new solar panels and a better furnace. Because um, I'm going to get into industrial craft. Industrial craft is what I prefer for tools. I just don't necessarily love it for the machines, I'll be honest with you. So let me see. What else have I got to do? I need to grab tin and redstone and copper cable. So let's go ahead and get this going. We're going to grab this. We're going to get an electronic circuit and a rechargeable battery. Rechargeable battery, electronic circuit, and five refined iron gets us in a mining drill. Meet the dentist! And then on top of that, we are going to pick up three diamonds, throw it into this, and get a mining drill, and get the valuable upgrade uh, pop-up, which will be nice, which means we can now retire these two. And now, hopefully soon, if not already, those should be done downstairs. Let me grab my two carbon plates that I'm going to need, and we can go ahead and get started on part two of our awesome tool upgrades. Awesome, there we go. So, if I get two carbon plates... Am I doing this right? I don't think I am. It's the other way around. I can't believe I forgot. There we go. Two carbon plates, two advanced alloys, two glowstone dust, and an energy crystal. We can get a nano saber. So we're going to take both of these guys and charge them up. As you can see, uh, it will take... This one will take 10,000 EU, and because I put an energy crystal, this one actually takes 40. I don't quite understand that. I'm not sure if that's a bug or not. I personally think that should take 100,000. And I thought it did, but I've never noticed that. I've never, or haven't recently been playing with nano sabers. I do now. It's been a while, but I, uh, I noticed that they got fixed. What I mean by that is when I right-click with it, it turns on and off, but it doesn't flicker out of your hand. On, off, on, off, but it doesn't actually glitch out of your hand like it does in vanilla or and like it used to as well so that's pretty pretty awesome that's what's motivated me to come back to uh, come back to a setup like this um, so I say it's time that I set up just a smidge of automation because honestly it bothers me that we don't have as much automation as we could for our ore processing and it's not going to be a whole lot of automation. Keep this in mind. I'm not expecting to get just a massive amount of stuff automated because it's not really going to happen. I hate to say it. I don't want to be a jerk about it, but I'm not trying to get this to be completely automated. I just want it to be, you know, toss it in a chest and come back later and it's done. I don't mind putting it in the chest of Blungson. I just don't want to have to worry about it. So I'm going to pick up, let's see, 10 iron should be enough. Let me come over here and craft uh, two chests. We've got this project bench here. It's for Dale waiting for his uh, backpack to come in whenever he decides to get on. And, oops. And we're going to make two vanilla hoppers. And I just remembered that I also 
with the two hoppers want one normal chest. And this is going to be the input chest. I also want to come over here and, uh, you know what, I want to dump this off again here and pick up my redstone engines I've got here. I'll probably need all of them, but we'll find out soon enough. And I can actually put this guy away now. Force mitts are not really going to help me out too much anymore. Um, and I'm going to clean up my inventory because I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was quite this big of a mess. Uh, carbon fiber boat can go away as well. I don't plan on going on any trips. So, lever. Let's grab another one. If I maybe have a spare stick around, that'd be nice. Aha, perfect. I'll go ahead and make two levers, why not? Nope, not gravel. Cobblestone. I'm really glad to see that this texture pack isn't lagging the uh, recording quality any. And if you guys don't like the texture pack, I hate to say it, but I love this texture pack, so I'm not going to be extremely inclined to switch out of it. Um, you're going to have to do a lot of talking me into it, to be honest with you. So, this is going to run us into a big problem by doing this, but we're going to clean this up. Do not worry about a thing. We got this. So we're going to start quite simply by putting a hopper on top of the macerator and putting a chest on top of it. Anything that goes in the chest goes from the macerator. Easy enough. In other words, here we go, macerating some cobblestone if we really wanted to. And now, what we're going to do is going to be really simple. Um, actually, I forgot a chest. <laughs> I'm one chest short. Whoops. I think I'm going to make this one an iron chest if I can. Uh, also, I should have plenty of gold out here waiting for me now. Um, let me think. I put 13 in there so I can make... 9, 18. I can make two blocks and a lot of ingots. I'm going to take care of this real quick. I'm sorry to be so distracted about it, but I just want to get it taken care of real quick before it gets completely forgotten. So yeah, um, hang on just a moment. So yeah, I, um, I hate to go back with my old ways, but I just, I've been playing with T-Construct for a good month solid now, and I'm kind of missing just my good old-fashioned IC2. Because between T-Construct, modular power suits, and just FTB Ultimate's mods in general, especially Greg Tech, I haven't really just played the way I used to, and I really have been missing it lately. So that's why I tossed together all of this stuff. But we've got plenty of gold, which is very nice to see. And what I'm going to do is come back over here and I'll investigate the turtle quarry really quick. We have a lot of gold. Um, so, oh yeah, actually, I guess I could go ahead and do part of this. Actually, I could probably do all of it and just have it look, have it upgraded later. So, let me grab another chest. I'm sure you guys are quite aware of what the chest recipe is by now. And you know what? We've got... How much sand do we have? Four? Eh, four will be enough for now. I'm going to go smelt it into glass, and I should just go ahead and bring gold with me now, shouldn't I? I'm going to bring some gold with us, and we're just going to go straight into golden pipes, because gold pipes are going to be much better. So let's go... Electronic, or electric furnace. So, yeah, like I said, don't be too concerned about what all is going on with the back part of here. We'll get this fixed up. I've got a plan. You guys may or may not be surprised by one of the mods we've got on the server. Hopefully you're not going to be too shocked, because it's not really a shocking mod. Everyone uses it nowadays. Well, not necessarily everyone, but a lot of people use it nowadays. How am I doing? Alright, so... Uh, let me smelt up some smooth stone. I'm going to come upstairs. I uh, need to grab some sandstone because I want to show you guys a new pipe. Um, all these pipes generally work the same, but there's this one pipe specifically that is going to have a feature that is pretty unique. Unless there's a different kind of pipe that might actually help. Um, 
Let's see, power switch. Nope, nope, none of these. Not that either. No. Insertion transport pipe, definitely not it. Yep, so we're just going to stick with a good old sandstone transport pipe. Sandstone transport pipes will not connect to inventories. They only connect to other pipes. So I'm going to basically sneak this around the back end of my machinery so that I can get it into my output chest, which I think I'm going to put right there. It's just how I'm going to sneak things over. So you can see it doesn't connect to these machines, which is perfect. And we want this to connect only into here. And now we can go ahead and put our engine here if we wanted to. And we're going to go ahead and do that. Why not? And I'm trying to plan this out a little bit, but I'm not sure how lucky I'm going to get with that. If I do that, does that work? If it, it would pull out of this and go into this. So that should work, right? Nope, not what I wanted. Well, I can go ahead and heat up that other engine while I grab my crescent hammer from upstairs. I'll grab a bite to eat on the way. Grab my crescent hammer from out of here. Perfect. Come over down here and rotate this stubborn engine. So, let's see what we can do as far as ores go. This is just basically my thing is I like being able to drop something in a chest and leave. Come back later and see what's going on. I don't care. Just drop something in there and leave. Especially with mass raiders because they're pretty slow. In fact, they're very slow if I don't have any upgrades in here, which I don't right now. But we should see that we're going to get pulverized iron dust, or pulverized iron. Uh, that's because I've got that ore duplication fix installed. But what's going to hopefully happen is this is going to go through here, not connect to that first hopper but it is going to connect to that second hopper. And if it doesn't, I have another plan, but I think it will. It will. Wonderful. And then once that's done, that's going to get pulled out and pushed through into, wait for it, this chest. So we've got our stone here just chilling out for us, which is perfect. Let's look into that solution that I was talking about. I should have two diamonds still, and I also need more iron, which I'm getting, so that's no big deal. So it just so happens that we have Amoebus' micro blocks on here, and I have to be honest with you, I absolutely love them. They are quite phenomenal. We get a hacksaw through usage of this, and this hacksaw has no durability, which is kind of nice, but it also works on industrial craft cable and build craft pipes, and that's the amazing part about it. It works on build craft pipes. And, better yet, you see how you can see through this part and how ugly that looks? No more. It works like a facade. You can pipe right through them, but you can't really see a difference. And I think this is an absolutely wonderful um, solution for the problem that could have risen. Um, like I told you guys, I had it all under control the entire time, but that could have been terrible. So I'm going to come up here and grab a few pieces of sand to just cover up the redstone engines that are down there. And um, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy about that. That's going to be a nice little setup we got going. Um, just a nice little way of dropping something and forgetting about it. Like I said, just put that there so you can't see it. And now, from the outside, this is all solid stone. I'm not going to connect to this at all. Not even if I wanted to. This item hopper is just going to go... This is perfect. This is just wonderful. And then, I almost forgot a, f a, uh, a cover over here for this chest. Bam. Of course, there is a little bit of a lighting glitch with them, but whatever. I honestly don't care. So, we're getting iron, and that's going to be very, 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 very helpful. You guys don't quite understand. Well, I actually probably do. But you guys know how helpful it's going to be. You have an intelligent brain. 
So I'm going to pick up a lot of these things. Again, another reason why I want to go with um, pulverizers is because a lot of these things just don't work in a macerator. Like, um, silver will work, but lead ore, lead ore will not work in a macerator. And that just isn't very good, now is it? So I'm going to put my iron in first. That way we know it's going to get processed in with the rest of it that's going. And I suppose... This is good to go for a little while. We can kind of just step back and laugh. Live life like we do. Um, yeah, this is nice. I like this. So now the hopper is going to load up since the uh, macerator is full. And the hopper is going to load up with the first five inventories of this stuff. So I can actually go ahead with that. Um, fast. Cool. Very nice, very nice. And this is all going to do its thing, and output's going to come out over here. So now we can pretty much just leave this. Um, that's actually pretty exciting. So, let's come back and check on the turtle quarry and see how it is doing. It's not done yet, but it found lapis. Good job. If you find lapis, then that means you're a good turtle quarry. Tin, silver... It's gotten plenty of aluminum, and like I showed you guys earlier, a good amount of force as well. I'll take that gold ore and go ahead and toss it over here to get processed. Cool. That was pretty easy. Like you guys saw, it didn't take much at all. And uh, let's go outside and just fight a few things real quick with our nice new nano saver so I can show you guys how incredibly well it works. Uh, what we're going to do is clean up my inventory first. I don't want to go out there and waste my time killing mobs if I can't fit half the crap I kill. Or at least their drops. I should have set that. So, put the sand away. Let's go. So, the Nano Saber does iron sword damage when it's off, but when it's on, it does, like, diamond plus sharpness four damage. See what Marcus is coming over here talking about. So it looks like he's got himself some slime. Slime stuffs. So yeah, this isn't Marcus's place. Fun.
cool stuff going on there. He's doing this nice little wizardry. I just chill out and do my tech stuff. Let's see how we're doing over here with our machines. Waiting for the server to catch up. It's a bit slow. Very nice. We're doing pretty good. That's not bad at all. Let's go take care of all of my stuff for me. And this is full. Not bad at all. I am quite happy about how this is going. Let's go outside and kick some more butt. Or just fall into the hole. That's okay too. So whenever it's on, it uses up more energy from your lap pack than it does whenever it's not. So definitely turn it off whenever you don't plan on killing something with it. But yeah, like from the side of the house, you can't tell at all what all is going on. I'll take care of all my reeds real quick. I'm starting to run a bit low. But I definitely think what I'm going to work on now is... Or I'm going to, of course, let the quarry go by and uh, let the turtle quarry go by. But I think it's getting close to time for some quantum stuff. I know we are jumping ahead really, really, really quickly. And I do apologize for those of you guys who really wish I would just savor the moment. But to be honest with you, the server's kind of disposable. So the sooner I can get stuff done, the better. Um, yeah, as you guys have seen though, this Nano Saber is pretty, pretty much winning it all. Uh, definitely think what I'm going to do real quick, since we've got the machines and we've now got pretty much the resources for it too, um, I think it's about time I go ahead and make that induction furnace I was talking about, and uh, I don't think we have, I don't think we have, nope, good, we don't have advanced machines. I'll tell you why, I know this is going to sound really stupid to some of you guys, and I'm not really concerned about how it sounds, to be honest with you. I don't like the version of Advanced Machines Atomic Strikers Atomic Striker has written, and that's just how it is. I prefer Snike's Atomic, or Snike's uh, Advanced Machines, and it hasn't updated yet, so I figured, you know what, get familiar with your overclockers, why don't you? So we've got this going on. I'm going to need, let's see, three and then another. Oh, you know what? I need to actually get... Eight coal. I'm going to grab my carbon plate. And I also will need seven copper. And I'm actually just going to grab copper and tin, because I'm going to need a mixture of both. So I'm going to need, let me think about this. For that, that's going to be it. I'm going to need 11 refined iron ingots. So meanwhile, I'm going to get myself some bronze. We got bronze, tin, we're about to get some copper, or some refined iron, I should say. Here it comes, two refined iron, almost three. Three refined iron. Three refined iron, three bronze, and three tin. You guys have seen this recipe, I did just make it. Mixed metal ingots, mixed metal ingots going into the compressor there. And we should be getting coal dust. Perfect. Now 
Now, my question is this. Have I got any way of emitting redstone to there? It doesn't look like it. Wait, does this not put items in that can't be smelted? Oh my god, I never knew that. That's amazing. That is really cool, actually. I've never known that. I figure they just were a little bit dumber than I was giving them credit for. So, we have all the stuff we need. Awesome. Let's go ahead, and we're getting to the point that we're getting all what we need. Let's go ahead and get the machine block we're going to need. I'm going to also break this. Uh, normally I wouldn't suggest using a drill or pickaxe or whatever, but it's a electronic furnace. Only the electronic furnace, the generator, and about three other blocks can be broken without having to worry about losing the machine. Otherwise, you're going to lose your machine. So I wouldn't do it unless you know which machines can be done with, and I've learned. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. I've I've learned. I've been doing this for a pretty long while, and at this point I've learned the dumb mistakes, or made the dumb mistakes, and plenty of those. <laughs> there have been plenty of facepalm moments where I was like, what was I thinking? Now let me just clean up my inventory while it lasts that... Um, coal gets macerated so that we can get ourselves a nice little furnace. Alright, so that's all done. We've got our eight coal dust. We're going to make ourselves another rock carbon mesh because I just need to make one more carbon plate. Now, if you could take a look at the recipe list, there's a few uh, recipes uh, nether quartz dust into nether quartz, iridium into iridium ore, or iridium ore into iridium ingot. Um, that's actually a part of the <sighs> Advanced Solar's mod. I had to think about that one. And, of course, sand straight into sandstone. You don't have to use four, just one-to-one. -one. Certus quartz dust into certus quartz. Uh, coal dust into coal. A few nice ones. Recipe for making diamonds. Pretty much it. That's not too much to do. Um, yes, let's go. So we're going to make something that I haven't made yet, which is an advanced machine block. This recipe looks just like this, quite simple. Two advanced alloys, two carbon plates, and a machine block it gets an advanced machine block. Advanced machine block plus seven copper ingots and an electronic furnace right in the center gets us an induction furnace. Achieving get hyperspeed. Now, we have this guy. He's going to take up charge, of course, and we also want to provide him with a redstone signal. So, I'm going to do that by doing, you know, I wonder this. i got to come up here real quick. Um, let's see this. If I ran this cable or this piping, that would actually speed things up too very well. I could do something like, um, oh, you know what? No, I couldn't. That kind of sucks. Because we have to ch power it. We don't have to power it, but we can power it. And we will benefit from doing that, and you'll find out why later. But the thing is, I'm trying to think of a design that will work very well with the... Uh, with keeping the area clean looking as well. And I'm kind of having a hard time with that. Uh, let me grab my handsaw and that other piece of stone. Because this guy has a heat value rate, like a heat buildup, and this buildup is um, 
when it's all the way up, right now it's only at 19%, 20% now, 21. When it's all the way to 100%, it's ridiculously quick as for a furnace. And I apologize for bumping the microphone there. Didn't mean to do that at all, of course. But, um... Oh, you know what? Yeah, this really isn't going to work. <laughs> Unless I, I could, I guess, just pick up a lot of sand and do it by covering up the side of the mountain a little bit. Uh, let me look into that, actually. Uh, let's see. So... What I mean by that is doing something like just coming out. Like that. And then I could just, like I said, extend the side of the mountain a little bit. Actually, I wonder, can micro blocks be made from sand? Oh, very nice. Very nice. You'll never even know this was here. That was one flaw that I always felt about, felt for uh, red power, was the lack of sand slabs. I always felt like there really should be some. So let me go and turn on this redstone engine again. It's going to take a little while to warm back up, but once it does, it'll be good and going again. Let me also patch this up a little bit, and then we'll work on patching up the side of this mountain so that you can't even notice what's going on. So again, we're going to go back to... Uh, let's see, we're going to do this and this. And this is going to work out very nicely, actually. Because then we can have all of that going. And, um... We'll have that going. That'll be cool. So, let me just come in here and grab some smooth stone. Or make some smooth stone, I guess, too. Wouldn't be a bad idea. seems as if the setup is still working just fine. I'm getting a pretty decent amount of lag right now, actually. The server doesn't really like us too much today. Not just us recording, but Marcus too, I'm sure. I don't know. Definitely not me. But yeah, you can see that's smelting up pretty nicely, pretty quickly. And this is all going to get extracted. I'm just going to go ahead and do it for it so it doesn't have to. And this is going to speed this up just a little bit. Honestly, not too much, not too great of a difference here. But it is going to at least allow us for us, to, or at least allow for us to come down here, smelt something, and then leave. Not have to sit here and monitor it, or wait, or just you know, just get something smelted and then get up and leave. So I'm going to come down and check on the quarry. I really hoped we would get more diamonds, because I really need more diamonds. Hmm. Oh well. So this is, of course, like all that stuff I just got done setting up is, of course, also a temporary solution, because realistically, once I get the, um... The entirety of the thermal expansion setups put together, we're really not going to need this. I apologize for bumping the mic again. I didn't mean to, uh, but we're really not going to need this too much. So that's looking good. This is kind of keeping up with itself now. 
as far as the redstone engine goes. Really, right now the uh, the limiter is the redstone. That's not the redstone engine. The uh, master editor here. So we may, once we get all our tin processed, we may look into making a few overclocker upgrades for this guy. Maybe three or four would be really good. Uh, really nice help. Actually, you know, we could do that now, I guess, but I'm going to wait. I think we've done a good amount for the uh, for the episode. So I'm going to bid you guys farewell. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and if you did, feel free to leave a like, and uh, yeah, you guys know the drill. Hope you had a good day. Enjoy the episode and all that good stuff. Take it easy.